Tati Westbrook supporting an MLM? Let's talk about it. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lodge with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Okay, so Tati Westbrook posted a video and a lot of people are talking about this online, at least that I saw. And they're kind of upset with her because she did this up lawsuit update and like this much of, here's her, here's her whole video, okay? Start to finish. Here's Tati's video. Okay, so this much of it was talking about the lawsuit and the rest of it is all about the makeup. I'm like, I clicked to hear about the, it was clickbait. It was, you know what? It was. Oh my God, it was like, I was sitting there, I got I got my snacks, I was ready to watch. And I talked about this before in several videos, but like before earlier, and I was just kind of disappointed because I thought she was really gonna like, like really say something. But all she really talked about is her being in a room with lots of men and she felt kind of nervous and then she felt empowered about it. And then she, something about glitter eyeshadow that she did not decide to wear it and how they are watching her video. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out a ton of hot new makeup. Many of you in the comments wanted to know what is the lawsuit about? Can you tell us more? And I can't go into specifics. There are channels out there that have gone into deeper specifics. You can find them, but I don't feel like it's the right thing to do to go into everything. But I will share with you that James and I are co-owners of Halo Beauty, and there is a third party that is a minority owner in Halo Beauty, and he initially sued us. And in return, we sued him, and here we are. I feel, I feel proud of myself. I feel like I walked into a room filled with men, all eyes on me, and it's intimidating, it just is. And so leaving that experience and feeling like I showed up and stayed in my power and did the best I could it felt really, really good. Ultimately, just from like watching her video, it came across kind of like tongue in cheek and kind of like, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm that girl. Like it came off like that kind of sassy a little bit, but I don't know, like maybe that could turn around and bite her in the butt or something. If it comes down that something in a lawsuit, who, who freaking knows? But it came across kind of like, mm -hmm, I'm that, I'm that, you know what I'm saying? And when I watched, that's just me. That's my per my perception of watching the video. But other other than that, like she gave us a little small details of what happened and then it was all about the makeup. So then in the video, I think, I think it was that video or some other video, she starts talking about this MLM brand. And I saw this online and I saw that, I, I saw it online first and then I saw like multiple people talk about it. And then of course, I, saw, I think people were making videos, I'm not sure. Yeah, here it is. Tati Noli using MLM company right here. It was like, it's all front page. And I was looking at it, let me read to you what it says. This beauty counter is similar to Body Shop, where they do sell at normal retail stores, but also have an MLM branch. These things get so messy when you can literally pick up some of these items at Ulta. So I can understand that she bought the brand not knowing they were MLM, but that being said though, people told her about it. Tati assumably read these messages, so she should know to just ditch the product. But I don't know, it's annoying and disappointing, but not a big surprise, I guess. She's very much all over the place lately. I had no idea that Body Shop was an MLM. I would say it's different. Beauty Counter re relies way more on their MLM brands than the Body Shop. The, here's the thing, right? I'm kind of shocked about it, but I, I told this to a friend of mine the other day. I was like, when it comes to MLMs, this is my thought about it. This is my thing. Like, uh, I'll name, I'll name some like uh, Amway, let me see, Herbalife. And here's what I think about it. They sell good products. And to me, there's no doubt about like Amway has decent products. Um, the shakes, the Herbalife weight loss shake, they're decent products. I see that it works for people. People generally enjoy it. The ones who believe in it and stuff like that. But the thing is, if you take a step back, you're like, okay, so this is like a, a pyramid thing, allegedly, or, or whatever. And like, there's like a higher ups and you have a down line and an up line and all that stuff like that, right? And that to me, is like, if if the product, if you're gonna have to like, like, like recruit people like that, that's when I like, I zone out, right? And when I look at it, like there's nothing really proprietary about it. That makes sense. There's no, you know, patent pending or anything like that that really worked. And honestly, if it was really, really, really working, everybody would be talking about it. And everybody would be doing it. But at the end of the day, there's I don't think there's nothing under the sun that people just have to have other than water and air and pay your taxes, right? So with that being said, I think the products that some of these MLM people offer are decent work and they work, but you can find that at other places. I'll give you a good example right here. See this lipstick? 
This is one of my favorite lipsticks. I'll probably link it down below. It's by Milani, right? If, if for any reason I don't like Milani or they make me mad or they do something or whatever, I can find this shade lipstick in another brand. There's nothing proprietary about this color other than I like Milani and I like the packaging and the color, right? But you can find that color somewhere else probably, right? And so that's the thing, that's my thoughts about like the MLM. Like if you don't want to support MLMs, hey, there's so many other other brands that aren't MLMs that you can support. So when Tati picked up the product and she said that about it, I think she was dipping her toe in, in a little drama and here we are talking about it. And I kind of feel like she shouldn't have, if that's the case. Because, you know, let me just tell you why. People really like watching Tati's videos. They really, they trust her reviews. And I feel like she's very thorough. Like, I have not met someone in a very long time who has as thorough as Tati Westbrook. Like, if I asked her, hey, do you remember that lip pencil that you reviewed by Hard Candy in 2013? Remember what shade it was? Oh. October 15th of um, 2015, it was shade Pink Hot Rod. And it, like, she would know. And she would pull up the video receipt and the price that it was at that time and where she got it and the skew and when it got expired and what she did with it. Like, she, like people like that, you just don't want to mess with, okay? <laughs> they're, just, they're like, oh, really? Let me see here and pull out their Rolodex. And they're like, wait, well, she's very that. And so this is why when I saw her talk about the MLM thing and she was like, well, I don't know. I was like, oh no. Because what, why, why people like Tati is also the same reason that it would bite her in the butt too. Because Tati is so thorough and because Tati is really, I mean, this is a woman who literally will film something like this. Hey guys, so we're gonna try this new lip color by Milani. And as she's doing that, after she films her videos, you then, she goes back and gives you this, and then she has to get that footage, put it on top of when she, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, so you're like filming the video, and then you're like filming the swatches separately. Like, oh my God. And then she's probably labeling it. The day and time, the shade color, and then put in some brain or whatever, those little portable chargers or the cloud. So she ever needs to pull that receipt. Like, I'm that's what I'm saying. She, and this is what, this is like one of those things that people don't talk about, how thorough she is with them. And so for her to say, well, I don't really know with them. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Cause do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to Tati Westbrook. The, the literally the encyclopedia of beauty products. Like you just, you just don't. Okay, that's my opinion. I could be wrong, but who am I, girl? But props to her because she really does put in the work. But so for her, for her to say about the ML, MLM thing, like I just thought was very shocking. But that's my opinion. Who am I, right? Anyways, I just feel like Tati Westbrook knew, or I it just it just wasn't a good look because I think she could have did a little bit more due diligence in it. Um, I just don't want her to go down the path of being an MLM queen or whatever. But I don't think she was. I mean, I don't know, like. To me, here's another thing, right? Like, I grew up around drag queens and stuff like that. And I just want to say this, like, there's like a certain tongue and cheekness to, to like MLMs, like, like, and even like, like Tupperware and people do Tupperware parties. Like, I just, I think those are fun, especially when like someone gets up in drag and they have a drag queen has a Tupperware party. Like, oh my God, this is so fun. Right, and, but I understand that there's like a negative comes, like what you know, with MLMs. But at the same time, like I, I think there's something fun about it. That, but not when people, because let me just say this, because I don't want to, y'all are not gonna come for me, not today. Not when people are putting their hard-earned dollars into starting this MLM so they can be your own boss babe, and then they put this money into it and they see no return. You know what I'm saying? So there's like, there's different levels to it. So I can see the fun part aspect, like a Tupperware party, but when you're like spending $5,000 to $15,000 on a package to get sent the Tupperware and you're just stuck with all this Tupperware and you're just like, what? You know what I'm saying? And then you're like, you can't pay rent. You can't do things like that. You're just like stuck like, like I get the gig. Like, it's not a good look. MLMs, in my opinion, they offer this like, I got rich, ask me how. And, and you can really work your butt off and it doesn't work for you. They're just going to say, well, you didn't work hard enough. You know what I'm saying? So I'll have to say this. Yes, anyways, I'll stick to my Rubbermaid with that Tupperware you can get at the Walmart and Costco and stuff like that or whatever it's called. What is that, Pyrex? I like the, I like Pyrex. This when it comes to Tupperware, I like Pyrex. It's a, you can get that at Target and Walmart. I like it because it's like glass 
and then like the plastic lid or whatever. I don't know, it's my opinion. Anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye, love you so much.